So, we have come to this concluding lecture of this module. So, we have seen the Debye model, we have seen the Einstein model, we have also discussed the advantages and disadvantages of both the models. And now, we will see in this particular lecture the application of both Einstein and Debye model. So, the one application which comes to the mind is the sublimation pressure. So, sublimation pressure and enthalpy of uh, sublimation, these are the two important properties where you usually use or with associate with the crystals. So, today's lecture is devoted on the sublimation pressure and enthalpy of crystals. So, what we are going to do is we will discuss what are sublimation pressure and enthalpy of crystals although both are related to each other and uh, we will see how we can uh, extract the information regarding the sublimation pressure if we know the overall expression for the different uh, chemical potentials. So, as you know this type of sublimation is again a phase equilibrium problem where the solid phase is in equilibrium with the gaseous phase. Okay. So, we usually relate the chemical potentials of both the phases and from there we actually derive the pressure and enthalpy. So, so as I told you we have to first equate the chemical potential of the crystals to that of the ideal gas. So, chemical potential of the crystals we have already found. So, we will do it for the Einstein crystal first, then we will extend our discussion to the Debye model. So, for the Einstein crystal, if you know, you know, so it means ultimately what is the basic expression? You have the mu crystal is equal to the mu gas, mu g, or in fact, I can write down as ideal gas. Okay, both the phases have same chemical potential and uh, we know what is the expression for mu ideal. So, mu ideal you know we have already discussed it in the previous case. So, it is just 2 pi m k t by h square into 3 by 2. Then you have a volume here instead of volume I am replacing it with k into t by p. So, k t by p this is the expression. Okay. So, it is nothing but minus kt ln q. So, ln q means q is this the partition function of the single atom of gas molecule. So, now I will first equate it to the Einstein crystal then I will start with the Debye crystal. So, let us see the Einstein crystal. So, if you recollect the mu of crystalline matter this is equal to u plus 3 by 2 H V E. So, we actually represented some U plus 3 by 2 H V E as a 0 point energy. So, I am now writing it all together then uh, plus 3 K T plus 3 K T ln of 1 minus e to the power of minus theta e by t. So, this is the expression we have derived earlier. This needs to be equated to the previous expression of mu gas. So, uh, which is nothing but equal to uh, this expression minus k t ln of bracket 2 pi m k t by h square 3 by 2 to k t by p. Okay. So, we have to solve for these equations. Here, I can write down this p as p sublimation pressure. Okay. This is what it is, it is the sublimation pressure. So, it means if I equate this left hand side with right hand side, I have to get an expression of p sublimation. So, what I can do, I can take this p in the numerator. So, the negative sign goes away, then I will express everything as ln of p sub, ln of p sublimation. So, I have an expression of in terms of ln of p sublimation. So, some mathematics we will do in the next slide. So, I do that things. So, the kt will come also into the picture kt into ln of p sublimation or I want to make it very particular. I am calculating a sublimation pressure using Einstein model. So, I have given a E subscript indicating Einstein model is equal to I will again write the same thing I have done the, all the mathematics I have reached to this position I can write and equate the expression of chemical potential it will be 3 k t ln 1 minus e to the power of minus theta e by t plus k t 
एल एन टू पाई एम के टी एच स्क्वायर बाई थ्री बाई टू इन टू के टी नाउ एज आई टोल्ड यू देर वॉज अ पी हेयर इन द डिनोमिनेटर दैट प्रेशर हैज गॉन इन टू द एल एच एस ओके सो दिस इज एक्सप्रेशन आई हैव सो वेल आई कैन जस्ट सब्सटीट्यूट दिस एक्सप्रेशन यू नो दिस यू ई एट टी इक्वल टू जीरो आई कैन राइट डाउन आइंस्टाइन दैट इज नथिंग बट यू प्लस थ्री बाई टू एच वी ई और आई कैन ऑल्सो राइट एट दैट यू ई जीरो सो आई कैन जस्ट कॉम्बाइन दीज टू एंड राइट एस यू ई जीरो आई इन द सेकेंड स्टेप वॉट आई विल डू आई विल डू दैट ओनली के टी एल एन पी ई सब equal to u e 0 then the second term remains but basically i am substituting this term u e 0 plus 3 kt 3 kt then uh, i'm do some ln of 1 minus so i can write e to the power of minus theta e by t yes 1 minus theta e by t I have just expre uh, expressed e to the power of minus theta e by t as one minus theta e by t. Then the remaining terms remain the same. Two pi m k t h square three by two again k two. Okay. So if you open this bracket, one one cancels out. You have only theta e. So we can write this expression as u e zero plus three k t. ln of theta e by t plus k t ln of bracket 2 pi m k t by h square by 3 by 2 into k t so this is the expression for k t ln pe sublimation so this is the expression for this so but uh, we know what is this sublimation related to enthalpy how is it related from thermodynamics we know if you take the logarithmic value of this and do a derivative with respect to temperature this will give us the heat of sublimation so this will give us he of sublimation e stands for einstein model sub stands for sublimation so this gives the heat of enthalpy that is the enthalpy of sublimation by kt square So now what we have to do is, this is the equation we have to get to in order to obtain heat of sublimation. So I have to take this expression, and I have to take a derivative with respect to temperature. Okay. So but I will start with the previous expression. So in the previous expression, I got this expression, L n of P E sublimation. I want to the approximation. I will use the earlier known expression, plus three k t. ln of 1 minus e to the power of minus theta e by t i have not taken the approximate values kt ln 2 pi m kt by h square 3 by 2 into kt okay so now or i can write it ln of p sub sublimation Is equal to u e zero. I divide everything by k t, so this becomes only three, three ln of one minus e to the power of minus theta e by t plus k t. So k t will go away. K t cancels out. So only you have a logarithmic term here. Two pi m k t by h square. This k t will remain inside. so now you do this do ln of pe sublimation by do t this is what now you have to do so the first term is having one term so you will have minus u e 0 by kt square then you have the terms when you do the ln term it is becomes 3 upon 1 minus e to the power of minus theta e by t then in within the bracket you have to do our derivative of this term theta by 1 minus e to the power of minus theta e by t then the remaining terms because of this t here if you do the mathematics correctly you will be left with only 5 by 2t 5 by 2t 
So, this will give you u e so minus u e by 0 into k t square minus 3 of 1 minus e to the power of minus by t and uh, essentially what I am doing is d t of 1 is 1 so we are keeping it only e to the power of minus theta e by t plus 5 by 2 t. So, step by step I am doing. So, this takes the form of u e 0 minus by k t square minus 3 e. Now, I can do the derivation here from this step, the previous step. So, just check if the derivations are correct. 1 minus e to the power of minus theta e by t. By the way, what is theta e? Theta is the Einstein temperature. Now, this Einstein temperature are available in literature and if you want day by temperature, you know what is the relation between those two. It is a simple linear relation. So, from there you have to find out for in this case, whatever metal you are having to solve, you have to use the Einstein temperature of that metal. So, now theta e by t. So, um, then theta e by t square plus 5 by 2 t. So, this becomes your um, delta H sub sublimation by k t square. Okay. Or I can uh, I can just make it much more informative. I multiply k t square. So, you will be having delta H as equals to minus u e 0. So, 0 point energy minus 3 e of theta e by t. 1 minus e to the power of minus theta e by t okay k t k t into theta e by t so obviously t t will cancel out plus 5 k t by 2 so this is the expression for heat of sublimation using the einstein model fine so in this way you can find out the heat of sublimation now with the debye model so, again uh, we write the for the Debye model what is the expression uh, we use the same expression which we did earlier. So, again I have to uh, relate the mu of crystal to mu of the gas phase which is equal to minus kt into ln of 2 pi m kt by h square 3 by 2 kt by p. So, instead of p, I will write here p d sublimation. Okay? So, it means p d sublimation is the sublimation pressure when using Debye model. Again, now you have to write the mu crystal when for Debye. So, it is what is that expression? So, that expression is nothing but k t ln p d sublimation. So, I just write the expressions in this manner. So, it will be mu d 0, u d 0 sorry not mu, then it will be uh, having a 3 k. Now, you have a function of g which I told you the expression plus the last expression will be as it is ln of 2 pi Basically, you will be having an expression of mu crystal as sum of these two values that is uh, mu d 0 plus this value. Okay. Then what I did? I equated it with the ideal gas mu g. So, when I equated it, I again took this p d sub to the LHS and I obtained expression in terms of ln value. So, I can also write this expression as k t ln of p d sub equals to I can write here as del u d when t approaches 0. So, now we will be using the expression of chemical potential when t approaches 0. So, you have to refer the previous slide when t approaches 0. So, your expression becomes the, this mu d that is u d at t approaches 0 minus we apply limits if you remember minus pi 4 k t by 5 by t of theta d. 
So what we did was that we wrote the function g and then applied limit where this t approaches 0 or t by theta. So t approaches 0 and then we found this is the expression. So I am writing that expression when t approaches 0. So then, then the remaining term will be as it is kt ln of 2 pi This is the expression. Okay. So just to remember this, remember this thing because uh, you have at low temperature when temperature approaches 0, mu of n v t approaches 0 is equal to u plus 9 by 8 h v d. Okay. This is the expression minus pi by 4 k t by 5 into t by theta d whole cubed. So now this term is nothing but delta u d of t approaches 0. So this was the term I wrote here. So mu v d then this term is as it is. Okay. So this is the way you actually write the expression. But what is v d? The v d is a divide this theta d is again the divide temperature. Okay. The divide temperature. Again this is available in literature and uh, if Einstein temperature is available, you can calculate the by temperature and likewise converse also it is possible because you know they are having a linear relation. So now again the same thing we have to do this. So we have again have to P sub D by I have to take the derivative of that function. So this function I have to take the derivative which will give me H sub into Debye model by kt square. So you have to take derivative of this expression. Let us do. So just let me write the again the expression here kt kt ln p sub d is equal to u d 0. Now I am writing u d 0. I have combined everything. It will be 3 kt g of which is a function of theta d by t okay, plus kt ln 2 pi m kt by 2 kt. You may now ask me that why are we then again writing the expression. So in that case I was writing about uh, the general case. This is the general expression what I am writing in the previous case I wrote it for when t approaches 0. The problem here is if you want to obtain the sublimation temperature at any temperature, let us say I want to have a sublimation temperature at temperature T2. So you cannot get it directly. So you need some reference temperature. Okay. So that reference temperature if it is available at some other temperature it is fine. If not, if not then you can use the previous slide where I have shown when T approaches 0. You can use this expression. For the time being what I am doing is I am trying to find out what will be the general expression if we take the G function. So that is why this G function is here. Now I will again divide by kt both sides so it will be ut0 by kt it will be simply 3g theta d by t and again it will be simply a logarithmic value of 2 pi m kt by h square. Okay, this is the expression. So now you take the derivative of this with respect to temperature. You get what is the value you get minus u d zero by k t square plus three of d g of theta d. I will come to this part later by d t. And this entire expression we did earlier it is five by two t which is so the overall expression is nothing but the sublimation pressure by kt square. Okay. So, but we know this relation how do we convert this g with this f we can know the f curves 
how are they related to g curve so it is dg of theta d by t upon dt this is the way you can actually if you know the f integral you want to do a derivative of the g curve you will not to know the f curve so this f curve then you have to obtain analytically so in this case if i replace this expression in the previous expression you will get delta h sublimation is equal to minus u d0 is actually d zero point temperature u d0 minus 3 into kt kt f of theta d by t plus 5 kt by 2 okay so this is the expression so if you know the f curve as a function of temperature you can easily calculate the sublimation pressure but we know this type of calculation is not that easy because you need to know a reference temperature to calculate the sublimation pressure or enthalpy at other temperature this was the enthalpy change on sublimation so uh, we will take one problem later on but let me come to a very important aspect of both the Debye and the Einstein model so you have heard this concept of residual entropy residual entropy means what we have seen in both the Debye and Einstein model as t approaches 0 entropy is also approaching 0 but this is not true there is a residual entropy even at t approaches 0 some molecules do possess entropy so does that violate third law of thermodynamics no it does not violate because the concept of residual entropy is actually based on the oriental orientational degeneracy so we will take the case of two examples carbon monoxide and ice so in this case what happens is that let us say uh, we are forming a crystal of carbon monoxide now when the carbon monoxide crystal is formed there are two ways the carbon dioxide or carbon monoxide can form the carbon monoxide can form either in this way co all are together co co like that or it can form in this manner co oc then again co again oc this one either this way or this way okay so it means each of this particular molecule of carbon monoxide have two ways have two ways to orient itself either it is co or oc okay either co or oc both are correct in the when you are talking about the crystalline phase so it means it has a degeneracy of two now if there are n one two n such molecules so it means the degeneracy will be 2 to the power of n so it means the total entropy we know entropy is equal to entropy when i talk up t which is 0 this is nothing but k into ln of the degeneracy because it is nve lowest energy so k ln entropy this one but we know that in this case your degeneracy is 2 to the power of n for a n molecule system so this is what we called as n into k ln 2 as the residual entropy even though at t equal to 0 this entropy will still be associated with the molecule this is very important this is okay same thing for ice also so in this ice so because of this what happens is ice is because of there are orientation degeneracy in ice orientation degeneracy due to different combination of of covalently bonded of covalently bonded covalently bonded and hydrogen bonded and hydrogen bonded OH so when you have this OH grouping so it can be either have a covalent bond in it or it can also have a hydrogen bond in it so there are two orientations 
so likewise it will also have a residual entropy so at t approaching zero so entropy is not actually zero but close to the residual entropy so that's what it is not violating but because of this uh, orientational degeneracy at that such low temperature you have some definite value now let us go to the problem statement this is a very simple problem not much in it it says the sublimation pressure of a silver is this much okay now it says predict the sublimation pressure of silver from 830 kelvin to its melting point to 1234 kelvin using the einstein model now i told you if you want to predict a pressure at different temperature you need to know a certain reference temperature pressure so that is given experimental value is this much okay this is this much so first using einstein model and then using devi model it's pretty simple what we need to do is that we need to see how to calculate that g curves that d curves are very important there you have to do some analytical expression so i will leave this question with the expressions only you can try it out because this is not possible in a normal calculator you have to write a code for it in either matlab or some other package in simulation software and then you have to solve it so uh, basically what we do is that we write out the expression so we have the expression first of g so you write the first expression in theta d when it approaches zero this you will require this is nothing but 3 upon theta d by t whole cubed so you can take theta d by t as the variable as x so it means it is theta d by t whole square whole square into ln of 1 minus e of theta d by t i am just checking whether it is correct or not so what you can do is or what i'll do i'll just leave this theta d here uh, because i have already given the expression what you need to do is you need to calculate this expression ln p sub i'll just read about the calculation here you may have different ways to solve it so what it is uh, you have to solve for this ln of p sub equals to ud0 by kt plus 3g plus ln of 2 pi m k t by h square by 3 by 2 into k t. So, mu d 0 you can find out mu d 0 because mu d 0 you know that expression it is u plus uh, 9 by 3. So, in that case you need some reference temperature that is reference pressure to find out that u d 0. So, u d 0 will be that expression where you find out from the reference uh, pressure. So, then you can calculate at any temperature because this is a function of temperature. Okay. So, we have to find out the values of sublimation pressure starting from 830 Kelvin to 1234 Kelvin with 830 Kelvin sublimation pressure known. So, this is the way you calculate for Debye model. So, you have to evaluate this integral, okay, this integral. So, I just leave it on you how to solve for this integral. Then uh, for Einstein model, you will be having ln of P sub is equal to, again you will be having Ue by T, then 3 ln of 1 minus exponential of minus theta E by T, okay then the term as it is ln of 2 pi m k t h s square this is very straightforward so you have to find out both these values theta e and theta d as well as this u e and u d 0 so these particular things you will be able to find out from the reference temperature and pressure that is known once you know that you substitute these values here and then you can calculate for any other temperature. So, you need to 
calculate both these models using a uh, any other code that is either you use MATLAB code or Mathematica it is up to you this is the Einstein model. So then uh, you can then check which is close to each other and then uh, which is comparing it with the literature experimental values then you will find out which is more closely uh, accurate okay. So this actually finally we come to the conclusion of this lecture. So I have taught you the Debye model, the Einstein model and the relative merits and demerits of both the models and also explain how you calculate the sublimation pressure and enthalpy. So this completes the solid part. So we have completed the gases part, we have completed the solid part. Now we will go to a very important aspect of the statistical thermodynamics that is the liquid matter. So liquid matter is condensed matter. These are much more difficult to evaluate. So the thermodynamic function which is not so easy as we did for solid. So from our next lecture or I would say the next module we will start with the liquid matter. Thank you. Mm -hmm.